So in this step, we're going to actually start further building out our network analysis data set and then actually run the network analysis. So to do this, we're going to make sure we're in analysis tab and we're going to go to network analysis. Now we have several analyses that we can run in here, but first thing we need to do is change our network data source. The default in ArcGIS Pro is to run the network analysis using uh, ArcGIS Online Esri's uh, network data set. That would cost credits. Uh, we don't have credits, we have the data locally, so we're just going to change the network data set source. You're going to browse to your network data set source, and you'll end up selecting it. It's the one we just generated in the previous video. We're going to click OK, and that will then show up here as the network roads ND vector. And if you hover over it, you can see the file path and stuff here, the location, and it is indeed our local data set. Next, we're going to go up and click service area. Now, what we're doing here is each bus stop that we selected was will start will be the start point for calculating a service shed around it based on parameters that we put in later. You can also do a network analysis for routes, closest facility, uh, location allocation, and origin destination cost matrices. So you can like measure drive times between distance uh, locations, etc. But we're going to do the service shed service area and that'll take a little bit and then it will pre-populate our contents with a bunch of things and in here there are facilities which will be our bus stops and we'll load them in in a minute point barriers which we won't have for this analysis but what they are is let's say we are running this with live data and there's an accident what we could figure out how the service sheds change with different um, barriers whether it be street closures uh, or whether it be uh, road closures or an intersection or if it's a big polygon maybe there's a uh, fire event or a parade or um, some other sort of flooding issue and so that's our service area with that selected we get the network analyst tab and we need to go to input data so we need to import our facilities and to do that click the button and we get our panel over here and now our panel in the parameters is input network analysis layers of service area we are click the import facilities button so the sub layer is we're going to put it in the facilities our input locations are our bus stop selection I'm going to leave all this stuff here the same and then I'm going to adjust the search tolerance and so if I hover over the I search tolerance for locating the input features on a network um, and we can we can reduce this a bit so we can say a thousand meters and then we want to I want to snap to the network so what this does is if you have a point feature that is near the network but not on the network it will snap it to the network and you know not knowing how they digitize these bus routes there might be some that are you know far enough off they won't show up on our service area so I'm just gonna say snap to it and I want to make it 10 meters so it'll look within 10 meters and snap it to the closest 10 meters now I'm going to click run and it's going to run and then what it does is it'll load our facilities then and you can see that it works successfully because we have these yellow dots their symbology for the facilities and then I'm going to go ahead and turn off our bus stations and they're all done because there are no bus station points here that don't have a yellow dot so and then I'm going to change the symbology of the facilities and I'm going to make them just black dots but I'm going to make them smaller so I'm going to make them maybe like five points apply and you'll see why in a moment so now that we have that we're going to still stay in the uh, network analyst I'm just going to make sure I have my service area selected now we're going to do our mode which is walking and we're going to do a calculation away from facilities, so not towards, but away. And then our cutoffs are our travel distances. So we could do multiple rings. And what I'm going to recommend is we're going to do like a quarter and a half mile. Now, these are very crude assessments drawn from the literature. Um, people are willing with differing abilities to walk various distances for different things. So an example if I was walking for groceries knowing I'm carrying a lot of heavy bags back and forth I might not want to walk more 
than an, a fifth or an eighth of a mile. But, you know, to get public transit to go to work, you know, I, I think I would be willing to walk a quarter to a half mile. Now, if I was going to hang out with some friends and they were, you know, buying me dinner, I might walk two miles. Uh, you know, kind of depends. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quarter and a half. So in feet, because our stuff is in feet, if you look up there, um, that's what we set everything up as. I'm going to put 1,320 comma space 2640, and that's our distances. Um, type, we're not going to use time. We're good. Uh, we're not doing arrive and depart times. Now, precision it's kind of hard to see here, but it's how tightly they group the service sheds to the network itself and the kind of the webbing between things. And so standard precision, it says, you know, fairly accurate, but it deteriorates. Um, I'm just going to go high precision. And then in terms of overlap, I don't want overlap. I want to dissolve. Um, the reason being is, you know, I want the service shed area. I don't care if it's one service shed versus another. I just want to know the overall. So I'm going to do dissolve. And then rings, what rings does is it puts a hole there. So the interior one will be solid and then it'll do a little bit of a, like a donut for that outer 2640. Um, so we're going to leave it rings. Rings is fine. And then we will click run. And it'll take a little bit. It'll have to redraw, and what we end up with is our polygons here. So this is the service shed that it calculated. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit here to downtown, and we're going to change the symbology a little bit so you can see them a bit better. So I'm going to make the inner one a bright yellow. I'm going to get rid of the border color, and then the outer one, What I want to do is I'm going to make it a different, not a yellow, but I'm going to make it a bit of an orange with no color, and I'm going to hit apply. And so now you can see kind of the coverage of each bus stop for a quarter and a half a mile. I'm going to make sure I save this. And then we're going to zoom back out to the layer. That's our service area, and that's how we do a uh, service area map. Thanks.